Hey, everybody. Welcome. This is section four, find common. So they to launch your money network. I'm going to go into step one of uh, the section here, which is going to be visualizing your launch, your pre launch timeline. So we've talked a lot about like the actual setup, but I want to give you a journey the, that I'll share with you my journey uh, of what I did, like, like my literal <laughs> launch plan that helped me relaunch I should say relaunch Fincom here this year. So a year ago in June 2020, I launched Fincom here as a wellness community. It did not succeed in having any paid members. And so after uh, some contemplation, I said, okay, well, I'm just going to open it up for free. I'm going to let a bunch of people come in and then I'm just going to see, you know, how it goes. And so I did that and I struggled and I struggled all that time. <laughs> so from June until December, I really just struggled and I got burned out. And so in December, I said, okay, this isn't what I'm doing right now. Isn't working. <laughs> so in the beginning of 2021, I reached out to a couple people who, um, the Money Mastermind, we had been meeting uh, just a group of, a small group of people who are Money Network hosts that I know. And I met through um, some of the people that I, I've been working with since January, I met in the Community Design Masterclass that I took in 2020. And then I also took the Mighty Refresh in the fall of 2020. And I met a few people there that ended up joining us inside the Find Come Here community in the Mighty Mastermind. And so what I decided was, I asked them if they would be, first of all, I asked them, I said, would you be interested in doing this? And so what I was asking them was to be a part of a 90 day refresh mastermind where it was going to be a specific structure that I had created. And then um, at the end of that time, they would give me some feedback about their experience in the mastermind. And, and then um, hopefully a testimonial if it was really good so that I could go and then reopen the mini mastermind as a paid space that then, you know, I could have income. So that first um, 90 day refresh that we did from January through April of this year with five Money Network hosts, it was a free mastermind. And the structure was um, in January, we got some goal setting and uh, clarity around, um, you know, setting up a, a plan for a relaunch or a first launch for some of them was uh, some of them was that. And then in February, we did some workshops. I did a cultivating contribution workshop onboard and, and, and learning about onboarding support because these are things that they told me that they wanted to learn more about. So uh, we did some workshops in February and then in March we started to do growth seats. And what that is, is it's actually a, just a session where each member of our mastermind got to highlight their community and what their plan is for inviting members to join their network. And then we could give them feedback on like, oh, this is a great idea. Here's, you know, maybe some ideas you didn't or things that you haven't thought of. Um, and then that person can then decide what they're going to do as far as opening up their money network and inviting people in. So when I had my growth seat, uh, a couple of the um, people in our mastermind, um, I, I shared with them that I wanted to change the structure of Fincom here. So in my Fincom here, Money Network, that it was just going to be exclusively for Money Network hosts because I wanted to offer um, my consulting clients a place to connect. And I was going to charge for it. And so I, I laid out some plans around the pricing and then like other options of support that I can provide in the network. And so over that session on my growth seat, that's kind of how I identified what you know, now know as the Find Calm Here community of, uh, we do um, Mighty Monday, uh, which is our monthly strategy, tech and strategy session. We just started doing these like summer fireside chats that are kind of fun. And I'm building this course <laughs> because of um, all of the feedback from new members who came in the Find Calm Here community, in addition to the Mighty Mastermind people who had already been working with me since the beginning of 2021. So I looked back at all the people that I had done discovery calls with um, over the last you know, year. Uh, since I started doing the consulting, I started that basically in September officially uh, of 2020 was when I kind of opened the doors for my consulting business. And I had done so many discovery calls. And so I 
I didn't have a place to keep this stuff. And I ended up putting together a list of people. And then I started working with uh, some software that helped me organize that list. And I can show you that in some of these other sections. But um, what it came down to was I had a leads list of about 45 people. I invited those people to have a, another session with me, like a, a, like a discovery call, like a follow-up discovery call to say, hey, where are you now since we talked last? And inviting them to the Find Calm Here community. Um, so I, I reached out to those people and that is, and then in addition to some of the new people that I was doing discovery calls with throughout the past few months, like through April and May and June, and then some of those people who I just did discovery calls with came into the Find Calm Here community. Uh, and so this is kind of what my launch, my relaunch plan looked like. Um, so after that, you know, after that growth seat in the middle of April, I thought, okay, well, now I want to figure out how to reopen now that I have a plan. So it just literally, I just time blocked my schedule and said, okay, well, how much time do I have to dedicate then? And what, do, what are the things I need to do? So in April 26th to 30th, that, that week I can work on the marketing copy and content because I need that. I need to put that together in words. <laughs> you know, I need to put together what we talked about in the beginning, in the very beginning of who I'm bringing together, why I need to put that somewhere. So I put it into a Google doc, right? So I need to create that information. I need to put together plans. And so that's in, in addition to um, the steps, right? Those are the steps. Uh, I needed to reach out to people and ask them if they're interested. There is also members in the Find Calm Here community. And because I'm changing the entire community to a paid space, I had to ask them, are you interested in staying and paying? Because I decided what I, what I decided to do was the people who were in the Mighty Mastermind with me, um, who helped me th through that whole six months from January to now, I offered them, I said, you, because you've helped me figure this whole thing out, you can stay in the Find Calm Here community for free. And then the people who like were in the Find Calm Here community, but who were not a part of the Mighty Mastermind, I, may, I had invited some of those people to the Mighty Mastermind, but they didn't participate in the Mighty Mastermind. And so I reached out to them via email and I said, um, you know, if you're interested, I'd like to jump on a call with you to explain the, the changes with Find Calm here. Uh, if you're not, then, you know, I'll just remove for you from the network. And so that's basically what happened. So over a period of time, I just ended up removing some people who just, you know, were not interested in participating for whatever reason. They maybe have other things happening in their life. So, and they don't need support of uh, somebody who helps build communities right now. <laughs> so, you know, then I started to say, okay, well, I'm going to start reaching out to new people. And so I was in the Mighty Hosts and I was, you know, messaging some people and answering some questions and talking to people on discovery calls about the community. And then I started to talk about it on the podcast. And then we started to invite people in that way. And I started to talk about it with other people uh, in the Find Calm Here community when we started to do the Mighty Monday and things like that. So, it kind of just like rolled from one thing to the next. And so that's my journey. Okay. So the question is, what's your journey? Where are you at this moment in, in the process? Have you had people validating that they are interested? Basically what happened was a lot of consulting clients were telling me they wanted more access to me and to some resources. And they were really looking for help um, to get to where they wanted to go faster. To, this is why the course that I'm building right now is, is happening because they said, I need tools and support to help me in launching or um, you know other resources that I'm putting together as I grow the content in Find Calm here. But I didn't create that content before I invited these people in. I'm actually creating it this is the end of June. This this course is going to go live in July. So, and it's funny is I didn't wasn't even going to create this course until November <laughs> because I didn't really know that think I had time. And then I realized that I was already kind of needing to do it now because it's going to help me with other things, with giving myself time for other other possibilities. So, 
questions to consider. I'm going to put some worksheets together, but um, questions to consider. What's a realistic time frame for you to connect with potential members for discovery calls if you have not done that already, or if you feel like you just need to do more of them? Because those discovery calls, and they're like, when I say discovery call, again, I'm just talking about like a short conversation that you're going to have with people. So, you know, what's that short conversation? Like, hey, I'm th I have an idea. I'm, you know, are you interested in hearing about it? And then just chat with them about it. You don't have to go like, you know, in each saying, in each of um, like the, the ideal member interview questions, you don't have to say, hey, would you like to take an, an ideal member interview? They're like, what, what is that? I don't know what that means. <laughs> so again, just conversational when you're doing those discovery or those member interview calls. Um, but if you don't already have those done, you know, maybe that's where you need to focus on and do a couple of those before you know like what the structure of your community is going to be. Maybe you're already like, yep, I already know the structure. I, but I know who I'm inviting in. And, you know, now it's just about, okay, well, how much content do I need to create before I invite them in? And we talked a little bit about that in the last section, in section three of saying, you actually don't need a whole lot of content. You can actually just create like a welcome post and our purpose post and create an event that's a Zoom event and invite them to join the community. <laughs> and, and then you can learn from there. That's, I mean, that's pretty much what I did. And then I, in, in the first couple of weeks, I was just, I was continuing to ask the members. I said, well, what would be helpful? And like something that came out of that, I was doing book reviews and something that came out of that was like a book club. I didn't know that I was gonna do a book club, but now we have a book club and people were really interested in that. Um, but I didn't create a book club and then invite people to it. They said, I said, would you like to? And then they said, yes. So it's just that continuing that process of like validating before you do too much work up front. Okay, that's a lot. I'm gonna, uh, if you have questions, please, please, please post them in this um, share your thoughts section here so that I can address them every time uh, and, and get your answers to you as soon as you have questions. <laughs> so um, just let me know and I will see you in the next section.